know guys, ever since I saw this game, I was super excited about it. You know, it was kind of interesting because this game was made by Techland, who are the guys who made the Dead Island series. So a lot of people were a little bit hesitant going into this, but as I saw and I looked into more, I think it was first announced at E3, like last year, but as more and more trailers came out and more and more gameplay came out, I got more and more excited about this game because of the fact that it just looked really good. And so I am super excited to play a new series. Welcome to another series, guys. This is Dying Light. It's been a, this is a game I've been mentioning to you guys for a couple months now. And finally, it's here late January. It seemed like it was a mile ago, not that long ago. But now, all of a sudden, it's here, and I'm ready to jump into a game that I looks so looks really good for the most part. Uh, it, the graphics and pretty much everything look really good ever since really that they first announced it. So welcome to a new series. Uh, this game. Obviously, it came out today, or yesterday for you guys, because obviously I don't get games right on release, so I have to play them the day after, but I'm super excited about this game. Basically, it takes place, I think, in Turkey. I'm not sure exactly the name of the city. Basically, it's the zombie infestation. You're trying to escape. It's in first-person mode, so it's almost kind of like parkour. The big, the big thing in this game is the parkour system you can use. Kind of like, I don't know, I guess you could say similar. It kind of mirrors the edge, I guess, in a way. But I'm not sure if that would that would be the best way to describe this game because this game is not Mirror's Edge at all, except the, except for the parkour system. But with that being said, I'm super excited to play this game. Hopefully, it runs well on my PC. Considering this game just came out today, uh, so we'll see how things work here. Uh, looks really good. So with that being said, guys, I hope you super stoked like I am, and let's get started in Dying Light. So obviously, we're gonna play the campaign here. This game's obviously quite large from what I've seen. Uh, most people say that it's been probably a good. 30 to 40 hours of content in here. Techland said there's 50. Now, obviously, that doesn't include all the the content in the game. Like the, that doesn't include that is, that's not just the story. That's everything in the game. So it's gonna be bigger than that. HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Haran. Data on the subject: Kadir Suleiman, a local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. Jump in 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the Varian's structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. Well, that's a great way to start, but jump out of a plane and tell me everything that's going on here. But, I can say as soon as I saw this, at least, I don't know if this is like cutscene, or... Cause I think we're still in cutscene right now, but it's, it's freaking gorgeous even from here. I Get told up. you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Okay. Oh Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Of course. Fall back! Fall back! Get the fudge out of here, motherfudgers. I mean, you can seriously do that? Get out of here. We got him Come on, bud. I got him. Come on, babe. Fast, come on now. Get up, buddy. You're pretty CA agent, you should have skills. Behind you. Get the door open! Did 
is Jade. Get sick, be ready. Got a guy with a bad head wound and a bite on one arm. Oh shit, Amir's hurt? No. Amir is gone. But I'm bringing in someone who might still survive. One of us? We'll see. I'm going out. Right, so... They're probably not going to be very happy that they literally had to sacrifice their life just to kill me. I mean, not to kill me, but to bring back some dude who's freaking bit. So, we'll see. City of Heron. The process is detailed in the files and complete and if implemented in the current state, toxic. Any attempt to use it will result in countless lives lost that must be recovered. So, apparently, we're in Haran. I'm pretty sure Haran's in Turkey. But basically, our goal here... It's kind of nice to actually put a space bar, but... Uh, it's a, the, the goal here, essentially, is to basically get the information, I would assume... Uh, but I also have to join the factions, obviously. But it's also kind of cool that they put the space bars here, like like they did in Metro, the Metro series, even though they have nothing to do with correlation to it. But it gives you some time that I could actually speak to you guys, so that's kind of nice. Hopefully my FPS will actually be, be decent. You pinch him. You're scared. I'm not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie! Run! Whoa, okay, FPS is really down the toilet now. I need to get this fixed. Shit in my head. Use ASD to move and start a look. Alright, so we're getting okay FPS. We're not getting great, though, I'll tell you that much. I need to fix it here. Let's see here, hold on. Let's see if that fixes things a little bit here. Getting a little bit better. It's not quite as choppy. Turn analysing off. You can see, it. you can see right this view right here. Look how gorgeous this. Is. This is gorgeous right here. That right there is beautiful. And that's see, that's the kind of stuff that when they say, or well, now it's current gen, but when they said next gen 2013, this is kind of the, the graphics you're expecting. Not what we saw the last couple of years, which is mostly just been rehashing. Okay, so we're obviously in this room here. So some shoes, not much else here. Nice little fan. We'll keep moving forward. Another fan. A little kitchen. 949? Like AM maybe? Or is that clock off? We'll find out. Especially they still have power here considering I mean there's a freaking zombie invasion, you'd think. Not invasion. You think uh, in an apocalypse there wouldn't be any power, but apparently in this game there is, so. Discorification. Meet the t the, k the three time kickboxing world champion. So here's just a laundry room. Can't really see though. An outline gets kind of dark. To open this door up with F. You sleep for three days like a dead man and scare children. Off to a great start, dirty one. Where am I? In paradise. Can't you see? Okay. Enough joking around. Head to room 190. The bus will brief you. What, what does he want to brief one? Ask the boss. Well, I want to ask the boss. All right. Tour that way. So we actually got a mini map down the top. That's nice. So I can actually see what I'm the heck I'm doing. FPS is getting a little bit better. Getting in the upper 20s. Not great. I don't expect to get great FPS in this game. This is probably gonna be better than Far Cry 4 is, but you can't expect. That's your number. Yeah, number 31. That person's like sleeping. He's concerned. See, I mean, look at the, the graphics here. They, they look, he almost looks pretty realistic. And you can't make him look super realistic because obviously it's a video game. You can't make everything look 100%. But looks pretty dang close. Do not cross. Playing soccer with the can. Let's see if she wants to say anything. It allows me to talk to her. Well, it did. So I can't talk to her now. Apparently not. Alright. I want to talk some, but I can't. There's some ICU stuff. I don't know why that's here. Probably for that person. Hold space to jump and grab the ledger. Look at now he's gonna get Amir's anti-scene. 
Yes, saving. Hey, where's room 190? Upstairs. Is anything in the other? Oh, I can't run, or at least if I can't, it's not. We can. So, space is a job, that's simple enough, but. I mean, I was in the safe or anything. But, uh, I can't freaking. Uh, sprint, at least I can't yet. Maybe they don't give me the option to, but it'd be nice if they could give me sprint option. Everything feels kind of slow and sluggish. Maybe it's because I've been. And you oh. are Crane at 31. Oh, right. Um, how's your head? My head? Got it. Listen up. Until the boss says so, you are not on the list. So go talk to him ASAP and let's get things moving. Now, if you'll excuse me. You're in a safe area. Oh, what, what, what did that do? Oh, I didn't even know I could do this. What the heck is this? So I'm pressing Q. I'm not quite sure what it does. I think it's like... Oh, there, kind sir. I think it's like... A freaking thing that allows me to... I don't know what you want to call it. It allows me to basically see, like, enemies, maybe? Maybe my assumption. I don't really know, though, exactly. I haven't got enough time in this game yet. What are you doing? You're reading a list of some sort. Some more quarantined people. Headquarters is this way. It's guards' quarters in there. Oh, I can open the door, though. It's locked. Of course it is. Look, I can't do shit till they get new bolts from downstairs. That's like pretty realistic. Alright. Where are you, boss? I'll talk to you. Oh, I just lost my connection to Steam. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. Not that I need it anyway, because I'm just freaking uh, playing offline right now. I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. Alright, so I'm 31, whatever the heck that means. So apparently I'm numbered. But I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Door is locked. Some ra rocky talkies, computer, some CDs, and a radio of some sort. TV. Remember, kids, don't go out after dark. Why is there a dog? It looks like they have. Is that a mat? Is that, oh, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a Dell or a MacBook. It looks like a crappy Dell. It's supposed to be like a Mac imitate, but whatever. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Oh, there you are, bud. You're outside. We'll space this game. Nope, we're good. We'll keep the cutscenes. Hey, I'm looking for the... Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging... And rescuing people. Yeah, I wanted to thank that girl. Good. Because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antigen was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. I'm an agent. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the antigen meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair. I'm not, I'm not lazy. I'm just... Hey, boss. Save it. That lost guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. Alright. 
I like how you're the one saying, oh, you're a lazy butthole. Yeah, you're the one working on a freaking... Oh, you're not even working on the radio. You're just sitting there. You're the lazy butthole. Why, why are you telling me I'm the lazy one? You're the one freaking just acting like you're working on the radio. Even though you're not. It's a nice chairs and barbecue here, but still. I mean, come on, man. You gotta know where laziness exists. That's lazy right there. The hypocrite right there. Right, where am I supposed to go here? So I need to go up to the thirteenth floor or something like that? That's what it said. I'm not lazy, you little shit. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying, you little mother effort. Go check on the lost survivor on the thirteenth floor. So are there zombies on the thirteenth floor? Because you know it wouldn't really be safe if we're in the same building with a bunch of zombies who are above us. That wouldn't exactly be the best idea, especially since there's a staircase that's not really closed off at all or anything. At least we don't see things so. up ways up over here. guy in there. That's the guy I'm probably supposed to be talking to, isn't it? Well, I mean, I guess I could talk to him. Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Yep. So, can I go in the door? Yeah, apparently so. Okay, let's go. Open that door up. Oh, it's an elevator. That's a really weird elevator entrance. Don't you see just a door in an elevator? But maybe it's apocalypse it's to prevent the zombies from gaining. Jesus. How many people died here? Blood. Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisent ASAP, Help! hadn't you? Help! Somebody! What the hell? Better move. Okay, now you gave me this for an option. Okay, thank you. Help the survivor. Where's this motherfucker? Gotta get some zombies killing. Maybe. This kitchen is full of flies. Oh, shoot! Actually, hurts my pipe? Holy crap! That's that's amazing. Oh, it's not. No, it's it's stamina. Holy crap! I didn't know that actually existed. That's really cool though, because it makes it more realistic. You don't like have unlimited stamina. Something that actually probably should be in more games. So I give you some props for that, Dead Fudger. That's what I thought. What do you think you're doing, bud? You think you're just gonna walk around here, living life style? Cause you ain't right. Yeah, what the fuck is that thing? A beating heart. Maybe he has a survivor, maybe? Help him. Hey, bud, hopefully you're still alive. Jesus, you, you alright, man? I cut my arm getting away from him. Oh, God. You had to kill him, didn't you? God damn it! That was. That was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. There's my health. I didn't actually even see my health. Take care of Mark. All right, it's simple enough. There's not much out over here, so let's help you, buddy. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss, you've got to find some goss. Oh, and alcohol. Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. <laughs> Please hurry. I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Take care of Mark. So 
Uh, find some guys and alcohol to create a med kit. Alright, that's simple enough. Oh, it's sweet, so you got some combination items too. Plug your flashlight. No parts. Don't know how it's gonna help me, but I'll take it. It's not alcohol or gauze. Oh, the door. It's locked. The fudger's alright. There's much over here. It's just a bunch of broken books and a TV. There's some duct tape. I don't know if that should help to make the gauze part. Alright. I assume there's probably going to be some zombies around here. Wouldn't be shocked. More duct tape. Don't really want to go in there with all the blood. The door is locked as well. Some nails. Don't know how it's going to help me, but I'll take it. Some, something in the kitchen. Must be like on the other side of this wall. No, oh, apparently not. There's something over there. I'll have to go get it later. I don't really know. Oh, got a power cable. Alright. Don't know how an old dryer power cable is going to help me. Some more duct tape. Oh, now that door opens. Of course it does. There's going to be a zombie in here, isn't there? I feel like there is. More duct tape. Jeez, all we got is freaking duct tape in this freaking house. Tin can. Not really gonna help me at all, but I'll take it. It's absolutely nothing in there of anything of value. Electronics. It's gonna be something over here. Bathroom up. That's where. Yeah, there's gauze. Just need some alcohol now. There's gotta be alcohol back in that room then. Cause we got a bunch of duct tape. Got some gauze. Yeah, just gotta get the alcohol now. Some alcohol. I will say though, now that I've adjusted some of the settings, this game runs really smooth. I'm impressed. A lot of games run like crap on PC. You gotta. I give them some props. There we go. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Okay, I guess we need some alcohol. Drag that over. Oh, I say I can craft the gauze. So how do I how do I use it? So I know I'm supposed to go hide and enter the blueprints, maybe I don't understand how to take that too. To use it in terms of um, making a kit. But okay, I fudge hit the mic. <laughs> Ah, oh, crap. Sorry about that, guys. <sighs> watch out what I'm doing. Alright. How do I use this? Oh, I made blueprints? There we go. Craft that, motherfucker. Heck yes. Got a med kit. Alright, bud. I got you. Got you. Gucci. You're gonna be good here in just a couple moments. <laughs> Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes in alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. I don't know if that's take that as a compliment or like an insult. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. Alrighty, thank you. Two fifty, like rep. So I think it looks like I got a health kit. Thank you. They're doing their work apparently. Hey bud, you back? Hey, thirty one. Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. 
I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Alrighty, I'll come in a moment. Just checking things out here. Getting some... What you want to call it? Getting some supplies. Before I go back upstairs. Pretty sure I got everything down here. There's not much left. I think I got pretty much everything that's left, so I might as well go back up and talk to Rahim. I think that's how you say it, right? Rahim? Or is it Raham? I think it's Rahim. This is how I'm gonna say it in game. In your way, bud. Back here and Okay, so we're gonna go back to Raheem again. It's weird how this floor of the FPS is a lot worse than the other floors. Strange. Well at least now I can sprint, that makes things a little bit better. Turn that flash off got burned. Burn some battery power. Blocked up. Do there's any collectibles on the floor? Really? I'm a cheer, so let's go back to Raheem. We're going to you, bud. What do you want to do? Because we're going to talk to you right now. I'm free to get outside. Good. Taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Hit there. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. Alrighty. She's the the one thing I just noticed there is the audio got a little off sync when he was talking. And the voice isn't exactly that syncing isn't exactly the greatest, but those are things that I can live with. I don't need to be hypocritical and super picky in this game. It looks it's been pretty good so far. So So, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. All right, time to change. Ninja running clothes in room 194. This was my room down here. It's not that room. It's this one right then. Changing the runner clothes. What a runner calls it, like light w weight or something? Hey, bud. I mean, it's cool you're here, but are we sharing rooms or do we have the same room or what's going on? I think we have, I think we have different rooms. I think more than we different, but I think we share like one apartment because I think this is my room. This is a crap room, and he has a nice one. Your stash. You will change clothes here as well as leave any items for storage. As your survivor ranks, you get access to new outfits. Sweet. Hold. All right, fresh clothes. You can just just put put them in storage, right? Oh shoot, I don't want that in storage. I want to get stuff out of storage. Changing. I want the med kit. Give me that. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, dirty one. Actually, you know what? Screw it. 
Get back out there. Take like two of these. Take one nail. Take one nail. Some little parts. Take power cable. Take electronics. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. Gym? What are you talking about? It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. Alright, so this will be on the tar roof. Anyway, I think I'm going to stop here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next part of Dying Light. Have a great rest of your day, everybody.